You see, when it comes to trading your personal account, it's always important to trade with a broker that's probably reliable, you know. Like, make sure you choose a broker that works in line with you than works against you. So this is basically how I actually go about choosing my um, my brokers that I trade with, um, you know, and all that type of stuff. Um, I actually trade with three, but I won't mention the other beside, you know, trading with um, FX View. So this is things like low spreads, um, you know, just looking at the overall performance of how you trade, you know, like you, you would know that they would never do anything if that's against you to not win. Because in some of the brokers, bro, they are just there to make sure you lose. You know, imagine trading with somebody who's just there to make you lose. You don't want that. You want to trade comfortably and chill. At some point, I don't want to mention the brokers I use because I don't want to sound like this recommendation, but um, as, I, as you saw, guys, I was taking um, $4,000 to 10. There's something that I actually wanted to check. So actually, I grew it to like 9K and then I started going on my drawdown again, which was my recession part and all that type of stuff. And to be honest with you, um, I've learned a lot during the process of being a drawdown, especially on a personal account. The good part about having a personal account is that you don't have to trade um, with rules. Like you can generally just trade. So that's what actually made me notice um, that I low-key kind of missed, but I recklessly missed trading a personal account. Because in my firm's account, I'm most of the time risking property because I'm not flipping. I'm just trying to make a percentage, right? But as soon as I tapped into my personal account, I was like, what the heck? And I realized that I missed the adrenaline to open huge lot sizes, trade bigger, and all that type of stuff. But essentially, it kind of damages your brain at some point. So that's, just, you gotta, that's why you just get a stick to the basic rules of how you trade in order to make it out, you know. Um, the account is still up, but I just wanted to come here just to let you know guys that when it comes to personal account, make sure you choose reliable because um, I believe if it wasn't about choosing the right broker right now, I wouldn't have even, you know, I wouldn't have even, I would have lost the account by now, you know. I don't lose it, it's still live. But it's on a drawdown. Um, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. Look here. We started it. Um, or here. It was when we took it to 10. So if you can look closely right here. If you can look right here, you would notice that does like $2,000, $2,000. This was when we put it on 10K, bro. That was crazy, put it on 10K. And it was the most craziest thing to actually experience. And still, while I'm on a drawdown, look here, I lose small, not because of risk, but because the broker is reliable, you know? It's not like that one is to million leverage. It's like one is to 100, one is to five, one is to 10, no. Like some reasonable stuff. Man, I believe that 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 trade with something that works in line with your personality. It's just an advice I wanted to come here and give you guys. For me, I don't feel comfortable with trading with brokers that are highly volatile on everything because I understand the same ways I can make money out of it is the same ways I can lose money out of it. Just point being simple. And to be honest, um, we only fund to make money, you know, we don't fund to lose money. So, be reconsider it. Do your research, man. Check the regulations. Check the legitimacy. Check the the pros and cons. The mockups. Is it working for you or working against you? These are just the small details I wanted to come here and share with you guys. Because, I mean, you don't want to be trading and losing your money. Like simple. You don't want to be trading and losing your money. You want to trade and make money. That's how it is. Unless we are all in this trading game with different rules, different ways, and all that type of stuff. But 
one thing I'm socially sure about is that we guys are here to trade and make money. So that's just an update. I'm down on my account right now. I'm still gonna trade it quite well. I'm still gonna kill it. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna kill it. I just came here to say, tell you like, fuck. Actually, if I didn't choose the right broker, you know. Benman, this is just not no, this is not just the broker I use. I use multiple, and I make sure that guys, I check everything. The spreading, you know, the spreads, the commissions, the volatility, the liquidity, and all that type of stuff. Those things are essentially important, but people actually sleep on them. You know, you just gotta make sure that you follow the right path, follow the right rules, and you'll be good. Man. But anyway, much love, peace, and happiness, man. I'm just here to share that. And just to make sure y'all understand that trading with the red broker, it is. And if you remember, this account is with XFX View. See, it's with FX View. Bear in mind, guys, I'm not plugging anybody. I'm just sharing the journey. I'm trading this account 10K. So that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no recommendation. It's basically me showing you the broker I use. Point blank, period. So it's up to you whether you use it or you don't. But never go around and say, I'm the one plugging you. I'm just letting you know of my journey. It's crazy, actually. But you don't know what's going on. It's your boy, the goat, and it is I.